Okay. So just a reminder where we sort of are on our journey. We heard, we saw, take, took in new information. Stephen led us through letting go, trying to empty ourselves, and being open to the presence of God. And so I want to lead you through a meditation to help us move to a let come and to help sort of connect with what's really stirring in you, to connect around what you're beginning to get some clarity about, what it means to be the missional church and to live into that. The, it's a meditation. Um, I'm going to read some statements and about 10 minutes, and so I'm going to invite you while I do that to get comfortable, to close your eyes. If at any time you're not comfortable with any of this, you can opt out, um, but 10 minute exercise. And to get started though, before you close your eyes, I wanna um, ask you just on a piece of paper, any piece of paper, um, write down today's date, April 25th, 2014. Now write down the date 10 years from now. Write down the names and ages of a couple of children that are closest to you. Two children, names and ages that are closest to you. Now add 10 years to the ages of those children and write that number down. So now you can put down your pen and I'm gonna invite you to close your eyes and to just listen and try to follow me along on this journey, this imagining of 10 years from now when those children are 10 years older. We're 10 years into the future. And so if you'll close your eyes and feel yourself being carried into the future, one year, three years, five years, 10 years from now, It's the year 2024. In this year, imagine that your church has fully embraced the identity of being missional. The people of your congregation see the church as a way to be engaged in the mission of God in the world. Yours is a church whose presence is being felt in every corner of your community. The majority of your church's energy and resources are invested in bringing God's good news to the community instead of seeking to bring the community to your church. Imagine that you wake up in that future. You're sitting in your church's sanctuary. What do you see? Who do you see? What are they doing? What do you hear? (coughs) 
You walk down the halls of your church building toward the door. What do you see? Who do you see? What are they doing? What are the images that capture your attention? You go outside. What do you see? What is growing from the earth? You go out into the surrounding neighborhood. Who do you see? What are they doing? What kinds of dwellings and buildings are there on the street? Where do people gather? How do they make decisions? What are they eating? Where are they working? How are they traveling? What is happening on the street? Where is the center of the community? How does green space and water fit into the picture? What do you see when you walk after dark? Where else do you go? Who do you see?
Who do you talk to? What do you learn? Okay, it's time to return back to the church, back to the sanctuary. Once you've returned and when you're ready, you may open your eyes. So now what we want to invite you to do is to make that vision that you saw concrete. And so you see we've added into the middle of our circle some different supplies and different things that you can use. And so this isn't about creating great art, but it's about trying to see if you can capture through your hands something that represents the vision that you were getting as we went through the meditation, the vision that you're getting and the clarity that you're getting around what's trying to come. What is it that you're sensing? What is God calling us into? So I wanna ask you to take the next 15 minutes to do that. And maybe if you can at least get started in the first five minutes in silence. Um, let's stay with the silence for another five minutes and then um, we can begin to talk. But so 15 minutes to make your creation um, and then I'll let you know when we're ready to transition from here to lunch, okay? So y'all can begin. I wanna ask you to take your creation down to lunch. Again, try to sit with people you haven't spent time with yet. Sit with new people. Over lunch, I'd like you to tell your table mates what your vision represents for you. And I'd like you to come back into this room with a title for your vision. And you can have your table mates help you come up with that. What would you name it? Like we gave a title to the stories last night that we heard. What's the title that you would give for your vision?